We entered the field, you heard three cannon shots. Three volleys predates the 21 gun salute. We are about history, so you'll see some things today about history. <clears throat> today, just keep one person in mind, someone you knew who gave their all, someone you knew who wrote a check to America for up to and including their life, and cash that check for your liberty. Today, we remember, today, those of us who are still living cannot re repay the sacrifice of those that have given their lives defending us. But we can, at the very relief, at the very least, we can and we must remember that. With today's national anthem, if they may will. Daniel Davidson, Dan Loans, JT Bradley. so much so that the rest of us have the opportunity and the freedom to live our lives with joy and fulfillment. We gather to thank the brave men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country in order that she remains free and is a beacon of hope for all. This year we also recall special memories of recently departed dear friends to us all Tom Wilson and Charlie Allen. If it is true that the measure of a life is the legacy left behind, then Tom and Charlie lived amazing lives. No doubt about it. Charlie will forever live on through the thousands of students he taught and truly mentored over a long and awesome teaching career. His students will tell you that he never was that, he was that extremely rare teacher who did not stop working on, on their behalf as the school bell rang at the end of the day. And Charlie often opened his own wallet to keep unfunded programs alive. And that is so rare. Now, if you're wondering what Tom's legacy is, look around you. If we have one common thread among us, it is Tom Wilson. Coronaberg and all of Tom's life events that led up to the establishment of this place is indeed a fine legacy. Tom gave his everything so that there could be a place called Coronaburg. But by Coronaburg, I do not mean the buildings and the roads and the flagpoles. Coronaburg is us, all of us. 
We bring to one another indeed Tom's legacy. We agree his legacy is the bond of love and friendship that we all share. Tom and Charlie, as well as all those who gave their lives for our freedom, all share a very rare quality, selfless dedication on behalf of others. How much more wonderful would our world be if everyone gave of themselves so selflessly? It is right that we gather on this day and in this place to pause and to remember and to offer our genuine and heartfelt thanks to those who gave their all so that we may enjoy such freedom, such life, and joy. With renewed joy and knowing that Tom and Charlie are now working on our behalf ever more fervently, I proudly say to you, more earnestly than I have ever said before, long live Corona Bird. I want to tell you a little bit about the 21 gun salute, the history behind it, and how special ours will be today. The use of gun salutes for military ceremonies is traced back to warriors who demonstrated their peaceful intentions by rendering their weapons in a condition that left them ineffective. Since these early devices contained only one projectile, discharging them once made them safe. This led to the 21-gun salute, which became the highest honor a nation could render. Today, the National Gun, gun Salute of 21 Guns is fired in honor of the men and women who have fallen defending our national flag. And ours is unique. The seven guns used in this salute march through history. We have a matchlock circa 1400. We have a flintlock, circa 1600. We have a blunderbuss, circa 1700. An original cap and ball built in the year 1870. A British infield, circa 1885. A Lee infield Mark IV, circa 1944. M16A4 in current military use. Commander of the guns, please proceed. Oh. <coughs> oh. 